$12 million now being spent to buy camera software to help solve the rash of expressway shootings. We've been reporting on cars being shot at for years. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Koslov joins us now. And Dana, this was supposed to happen more than a year ago. Yeah, you know, Erica, this big announcement loses some of its momentum when you consider the law requiring cameras have recording capabilities went into effect in 2019 and should have been in use more than a year ago. And even though the funding's now there, there's no real timetable on when all will be up and running. Wednesday morning, another expressway shooting, this time on the Bishop Ford, leaving a man dead. Catching the killer may soon become easier with the approval of $12.5 million to install and run camera software to help Illinois State Police track the suspects and their cars. So now uh, we're going to have the license plate readers. We're going to have the technology to go after them and catch them. And they should get the message that we're serious about this and we're, we can't stand for this anymore. State Representative Thaddeus Jones was the co-sponsor of the camera bill named after expressway shooting victim Tamara Clayton. When it passed in 2019, the expectation was recording capabilities would be in use by the beginning of 2020. What the heck was the holdup about? You know, bureaucracy. And he says funding. It took 19 months to get that done to the dismay of Jones and bill co-sponsor state Senator Jackie Collins. It was frustrating for me when I didn't see anything take place all of last year. But that year long holdup arguably cost cases. There were 128 expressway shootings in 2020. So far this year, there have been 21. This may be too little too late for the victims of the 149 shootings that have taken place since January 1st of 2020. That can be a statement, but I, what I can also say to counter that is that uh, we are here, we're starting and the cameras will be effective. There were already expressway cameras, but they didn't record a focus of past stories by CBS2 Morning Insider Lauren Victory. Jones says 20% of funded cameras in this program are now capable of recording. So when will the other 80% of those cameras be capable of recording? No one can say for sure. And where will they be? That is not going to be released for security reasons, I am told. Live in the Streetside studio, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.